Hey, it's Michelle Schaefer here from michelleschaefer.com and with all the craziness going around the internet right now about the security attacks that are happening against WordPress websites, I wanted to give you two quick ways that you can help make your website more secure. The first, when you're logged into your WordPress dashboard, watch this space right here. It'll show you if you have any updates that you need to take care of. If you click on that, it'll take you to the update page. If you have plugins, or themes or WordPress itself needs updated it will show you here so that you can easily click the box and update whatever needs updated on your site very very important to keep your website both the WordPress files your themes and your plugins up to date always do a backup before you run updates like this but make sure you do run your updates it'll give you a message to let you know it's done successfully and then when you go back to your updates page it will show you that there are no current updates. That's what you want to see. You can also use this button right here just to check and make sure everything is up to date. The second thing I want to show you how to do is install this WordPress security plugin. It's called Better WP Security, and it will help you take care of some of the basics for securing your blog. To install this, you want to find plugins and go to Add New. Now we're going to search for better WP security. This is the right one, so I'm going to click install now. Yes, I am sure. Once it's downloaded the files to your web space, then you'll need to tell it you want it to activate. It may take a minute to run through this process. Now this plugin is active and you'll see over here there's a new link, security. You can click on that to modify settings for this plugin. You've got a couple of things you can do. Before you do anything, you need to create a backup if you don't already have one. This plugin, the way it works, it will email the backup to whatever your admin email address is for your WordPress install. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell it, yes, please create it. Now it's going to ask me, is it okay for it to change my core files? I'm going to say yes, because I want it to be able to make these tweaks without me having to log in through FTP or cPanel and take care of it. Again, before you do this, make sure that you have a backup of your website and just in case, have the phone number or the email address for your web host handy. In case anything would go wrong, you want to be able to get a hold of them. It shouldn't, but it never hurts to have that information before you need it. So I'm going to allow it to make those changes. And do read through all the text on these pages. I've read it before, that's why I'm not taking time to read it again. Now, it's going to go through some different options for you and let you decide what you want it to take care of for you. Most of the defaults are fine on this. I do want it to secure my site from basic attacks. Now it's going to give you some things you need to take care of. This is an important list. You want to take time to go through these and anywhere there's a click here to fix, find out more about it. At least read about it so you know what the risk is if you don't do it. This one lets me know that I'm enforcing strong passwords but not everyone has one. If I click here, it will walk me through how to fix that. All right? See, it's giving me some options here. I'm going to say anybody on this blog from subscriber up has to have a secure, strong password. All right? Then I can go back up to get back to that list. Go back to dashboard. Dashboard will take you. Now you can see this one turned green. It takes you back to this list. Number one, I am enforcing strong passwords. This says my WordPress header is still revealing some information to users. So I can click there to change it. So you just go down through this list and I'm going to remove that. I'm going to save my changes. And then I'll scroll back up and I'll go back to the dashboard. So just repeat this process as you go down through all of these. This will help you to make sure that your install of WordPress is secure. Again, before you do any of this, make sure that you do have a backup of your website. Very, very important. And if you're running anything really custom, like you've got your blog set up with e-commerce or it's interacting with your shopping cart in some way, you've got other things going on, 
you'll want to make sure that any changes you make don't affect that. So you'll want to be more careful and just be aware of how those things are communicating. You might have to get in touch with your team, your VA, maybe hand this off to them to take care of, but this is an excellent plugin for going through these things and securing your blog, locking it down so that you are at less risk. So again, those two steps were, number one, make sure you're updated. Right here, it'll show you if you've got any updates. Right now, I don't have any. That's why nothing's showing. You can also get to updates under dashboard. And then install this plugin, Better WP Security. And I hope it goes without saying that you should also have a secure password. This means you don't use your name, your address, your kid's name, your pet's name, anything like that that can be tied to you. No words that appear in the dictionary. Your password needs to be strong, which is a secure mix of letters, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and a special character or two. I know that makes it tough to remember, but that's the only way that you can keep that password from being cracked by the programs that go through and just try dictionary attacks or try random combinations. Make it tough for them to get in. Don't give hackers an easy way to get into your blog. So go take care of this right now and then you'll be able to sleep at night because you'll know that your WordPress blog, your WordPress website is a lot safer.